Hi there, my name is Lukas and in today's tutorial I will show you how you can create presentation on board like this in Allplan using Layout Editor. At first, when we look closer, we can see that all the elements are made in Allplan using rendering tool or generating the plans sections or even taking the screen grabs and making the diagrams. When we go back to Allplan, Currently we are located in Layout Editor and first thing we need to do is set up a page. So we go to set up page and as we can see currently I have format A0. Usually for presentation purposes you choose format A2, A1 and A0. For now I will have A0 landscape format. Next thing we do is we can import our drawings. So we go to layout element and then building structure. We choose drawing files which we want to have included in our project. Then we need to choose particular scale for this time 1 to 50. And remember font factor keep always at 1 because then your text and your dimension lines will look like they are in scale 1 to 100. And drawing type scale definition. Then we place it outside of the layout. And as we can see, all is placed as we want. Then we go to layout window and we create a layout window as we explained in a previous video. So you need to select all the elements, make a layout window and click escape. Now you have your first ground floor ready to be used. You move it we can place it on a particular place where we want it and then next thing we do we import a render of a plan. So we go to desktop and as you can see here I have prepared all the renders and diagrams which are needed. So you just pick it, drag it and drop it in all plan. Then what we want to have is a transparency on a certain level. For this purpose I would use 50%. Click OK and you click where you want to have it. Let's see here. Then we just pick it and we need to place it exactly where the plan is and adjust it so it fits our plan. This is really fiddly work so you need to be patient. So now as you can see my plan and my render are aligned. Just a little bit of adjustment. I'm happy with the way it looks now, but I don't like this gray frame around which is the ground. So what I do, I double click on a bitmap and here you can see height pixels. I check this tool, I pick a pipette and I can pick a color which I don't like to keep. And then here is a tolerance. I usually put it on 4 or 5 to make sure that I really hide the pixels I don't want to. Click OK. As you can see it wasn't enough because here are still some pixels. They may be a bit darker or a bit lighter so you need to increase the tolerance even higher, let's say 6, and now as you can see we don't have the frame anymore. Next we can import a main image, so we go back to desktop and we pick render again, drag and drop, click OK and place it outside of the layout because if you can if you place it in 
it will fill the whole layout. So place it in, drop it, click escape. And now you can move it wherever you want. This looks promising. Let me just double check. The picture is a bit bigger. And the plan is lower. So we need to select both plan and bitmap and move it. So there is more space for the image. Let me check again. Okay. Next thing we need section here. In a previous video, I showed you how you can create your layout for technical drawings and we exported a layout of section, plan and elevation. What we're going to do is we're going to use very same PDF for this purpose as well. So when we go back to the desktop, here you see output layout tutorial. I'll pick it, drag it and again drop it. I want to keep the scale 1 because I'm not sure if it's in scale 1 to 100 or 1 to 50. Click OK. But after it's imported, I can see that it's scale 1 to 100. So I need to select this, deselect the bitmap, never forget about this, and then I can move it away. What I can do next is select everything. Use the resize tool to scale it up. Uh, choose a midpoint for the first point and then resize it by factor 2 in x and y direction. And now what we have is the same drawing rescaled to 1 to 50. What we do now is we pick a section. And we move our section to our scene exactly where we want it. Let's say here. Yeah. We need to pick this heading. And probably what we should do is place this plan a bit to the left. So we have more space here. It's not too packed. Now we can get rid of AA. The heading is too small, so we double click on the text, select the whole text and change it to 5 mils. Click OK. And also what we can do, double click again and add 1 to 50. So we know in which scale the drawing is. Now we can move it a bit higher. We can copy this text, move it above a plan, double click and change it to plan. Click OK. And now we have two headings for both drawings. You can move this one a bit higher. Yeah, like that. And then we can delete this whole part. Next thing we do, our plan is with render, but our section is plain. So we go back to desktop and we can see section render. So we pick it Again, back to all plan and drop it outside. Click OK. And then we have here our section. Right now, if we want, we can both set the transparency to 50% and also hide pixels, especially this one. Set tolerance to 5. 
we're okay. Yeah, it seems that I'm happy with the settings I have. So I can move it now under the section. It's almost aligned. Just need to adjust it a bit more. But what I have noticed is that the shadows of the drawing are overlaying my render. So I can pick a filter, click on the arrow down, and choose filter by fill. Pick a pipette, click on the fill, and select the full drawing. All the fills are selected, just so simply delete them. Only thing that is in your poster in the section is render. Then we adjust it even better, so it's exactly where we need it. Yeah, this seems right. When we compare this poster, yeah, it looks that it's going to the right direction. Now what we need is text and this diagram. I prepared both of these on the side of the layout, so I don't need to write a text or anything. But what I will show you here, in this diagram, all of these axonometric drawings are screen grabs from uh, animation window, exported as JPEG, imported in the same way as these three renders. And then what I did is checked high pixel and I picked a white color. And as you can see, now it appears to be like a PNG without any background. And then you can simply overlay all of the axonometric drawings above each other, which creates sort of like exploded axonometric effect. And here is simply a text with a little description. So we can move these two. To the place where we want it and yeah it looks like our poster is ready to be exported so what we do next is go to export pdf data if you can't see it here you just click on the arrow down and it says here export pdf data click ok then you choose the direction where you want to save it i want to save it on the desktop this is poster tutorial reference which is this one. So I will save it to final poster. Click save. Don't forget to uncheck grayscale because you will have black and white, not colorful. And then click OK. And now, as you can see, here is our final render with all the drawings inside. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.